And since I can say that since I started actively looking for a job, which is only two weeks ago, it's been um, the the inbound <laughs> the inbound um, requests for interviews from recruiters has been um, way beyond what I expected. Hi, my name is Josh, and I'm here to tell you a bit about my experience with PDM. Um, as background, uh, I've been a product manager most of my career, working sort of at the intersection of engineering, design, and business. Um, and I started using Python about three years ago, but about 14 months ago, I started working with Python very seriously, sort of every day at work. Even though I'm an engineering manager and I'm not, I wasn't a software developer um, a year ago. But I've been largely self-taught um, to date or before PDM, which means a combination of books, like I've got all of the intro books at this point, online courses, I did um, Coursera, Udacity, U Udemy, and actually also um, uh, General Assembly, and then lots and lots of hours of just practicing and making mistakes, um, mostly working in either the um, Python shell or in Jupyter Notebooks. Um, and the reason I joined PDM is because I had hit a wall. Um, it felt like I had um, really reached the end of my progression because I had no one really uh, who uh, above me to mentor me, essentially. Um, the developers I work with all work in JavaScript, um, not Python. And so I did learn concepts from them such as what an ORM is, um, I did not learn any Python from them. And I had begun creating prototypes and um, little admin tools for work, kind of like turning my job into a Python role, but there was a limit to what I could do with that too because I couldn't really release them into production and, and make them sort of uh, production ready. So I needed a mentor, I knew that. I needed to understand how to structure and build and release real software applications, not just like the scripts I've been writing. Um, I needed to be in an environment with other engineers because I had I very much um, came in with a uh, imposter mindset because I had been self-taught and just felt very, um, very much like I wasn't necessarily supposed to be part of this club that I had broken into. Um, so during my my um, time at PDM, there were the results were uh, pretty amazing, like way beyond what I expected. I expected to come out a better sort of uh, engineer, so to speak, more formally trained, I guess, engineer with skills around object-oriented programming, um, containerization, um, debugging, testing, which I didn't really have. But, and that was, that, that is true, that, that did improve, but overall, um, there's three big areas that I saw big results in with PDM. My coding skills got a lot better. Um, from the code clinic uh, meetings we have once a week, as well as my one-on-one -on -one code reviews with Bob. Um, you know, for example, I became much more comfortable with classes, and not just basic classes, but um, using static methods, um, uh, using decorators, like properties decorator, using data classes, um, using Pydantic models as, as table classes or ORM classes. I became comfortable with ORMs, um, specifically Tortoise, ORM, and uh, SQL Alchemy. Much more um, experience with databases. Postgres is the one I f mostly use, but also MongoDB. Um, debugging, I had no experience in debugging. I was using print statements for most of my debugging, um, which is not really debugging. And um, that changed, um, I learned a lot around b debugging, as well as um, using PyTest and PyTest fixtures in particular. Um, those are big open areas um, that I had no experience. And then actually even Git, I was, I was not fluent in Git. I was using it sort of very haphazardly, and uh, my Git skills improved markedly. And there, um, there's sort of a lot of one-on-one -on -one mentoring, but also there's, um, there are tutorials to take advantage of, which I really did, and they, were, they laid the foundation for a lot of stuff that came. Um, beyond my coding skills, my mindset improved, um, and I can't stress, I wasn't even aware of how important this was, but I can't stress how important it is now that I'm aware of it. Um, between my calls with Julian and the, the weekly calls we have with the group um, around mindset, um, it really I came in because I was self-taught, as I mentioned, and um, did not have a formal CS background. Uh, I came in very with a very strong imposter syndrome and also not knowing what I didn't know and not knowing um, what it was like to be part of a developer community as a developer as opposed to a product manager. Um, and um, 
I found that a lot of the feelings that were really holding me back were common, even among people who were much more advanced than I was, which was a huge relief. Um, I wasn't the only one. I didn't feel le less like a, like a freak and less, um, uh, less sort of alone. And, um, and Julian's been very full of very specific insights in terms of how to market myself, because one of my goals is to work full time and be paid as a Python developer. Um, how to market myself and how to authentically weave my product past in with my, my, my sort of um, developer present. And, um, and since I can say that since I started actively looking for a job, which is only two weeks ago, it's been um, the, the inbound, <laughs> the inbound um, requests for interviews from recruiters has been um, way beyond what I expected. Um, the community, I guess the third big thing is, there's a saying I guess in Python, I came for the, for the, for the code, with the coding, and I stayed for the community. That's tr very much true of me with PDM. Like the community has been really awesome. And that's, if it was, I just learned, you know, it would be more than worth it doing the program if I had just gotten better, really you know, a lot better at, at my at coding. But, um, but the community has been is amazing. Um, I, it's been very supportive, the, the sort of people we meet with every week. And I also, I, I've become friends with some people outside the group. And we have uh, Slack. Um, we chat about all kinds of things, but very, very supportive um, with, it's kind of like a Montessori classroom. And that's, that's, that's probably a bad analogy, but um, people who are much more skilled are glad to help people who aren't without ever making them feel like they're, you know, they're not smart. And uh, it's a very much, and people who, who think like m me, I didn't come in thinking I was senior at all, but I've been able to help people, not even knowing I could help people, just really saying like, well, I've tried this, have you tried that? And then and somebody, will say, oh, that's really useful, thank you, and I didn't even know I was going to help anybody. <laughs> um, and then, um, in terms of concrete results, these are concrete results, but in terms of like what I produced during the, the program, I produced three um, applications, three full-blown containerized software applications with, um, that are well-structured. One is an um, automated screener for um, applicants to, uh, to a, a, a research, market research platform that I run. Um, and that has, has a lot of moving parts. It uses Flask, SQL Alchemy, Postgres, Twilio Studio, um, PyTest, and um, black core uh, code formatting, among, among other things. Developed a music API um, for, it's very, it's a, using Fast API, it's a async, high performance um, API that uses Postgres in the background. It's, it's, I built this for a consumer um, music company that they use now in production. Um, and uh, also built a, um, a small NLP pipeline that takes a video object and then using AWS transcribe, turns it into a transcript that I then pull apart using um, some NLP libraries like Spacey and Vader Sentiment. Uh, those three I got finished during the, during the, um, during the program. So um, I expected to get one done, not three. So that, I was just very motivated and to, d to do more and had, a lot, had the support, so it was great. Um, in terms of where I'd be had I not joined PM, PDM, I think my you know, best case, my progress would have been linear from where I was. It's been, um, I don't know if you call it exponential maybe, but it's been a step function change um, from where I was. I wouldn't be in the community. I wouldn't feel as like committed to this for the rest of my career as I do now. Um, overall, as hopefully you can tell from, from my testimonial, my experience has been tremendous and I highly recommend it for anybody who's even considering it. Thank you very much.